So there's a video immediately before this one, about 20 minutes long, which talks about, about why speed we know may not work for what I need. And about, uh, I haven't even posted it yet, but I'm going to post it. Because it will then dovetail into this one where I flip-flop back and go, speed we know might do what I need. <laughs> so the uh, Arju stem, which is the thing that generates our signal over to our system and this pretends to be the engine I've got to set it 100 rpms right now and I've gone in and I've changed the crank from a 24 uh, tooth missing one tooth and you can see this one is not missing a tooth to a 24 one with a cam with a one tooth on a cam so it's really two wheels so it's 24 one over here so it's sending 24 plus this one and what I had missed on this Arduous stem is you have to connect up uh, pins 8 and 9. Well, I've been running a 24-1 with no cam wheel, which was 24 teeth with one missing. So pin 9 didn't need to be hooked up because this is pin 8, the crank signal. This is pin 9, the cam signal. And I haven't been running a cam signal. So I went in here and changed it just now to a 24-1 with a one-tooth cam. And if you were watching the previous video, I talk about a map sensor because there's no way I'm going to put a cam sensor on these engines, okay? But what I'm going to try and do is make the map sensor be this one tooth cam sensor. And I've made some headways here into doing that. So I'm running 100 RPMs right now, sending it over to the engine. And over here, we see the engine's got 100 RPM. If you look down, it says half sync, which is no good. We need full sync. And it says cranking. And I have the uh, startup set at uh, 500 RPM. So it's not going to run until we hit 500 RPMs. But I want you to watch the half sync. And over here it says no sync. It's going to go to full sync, okay? I don't have pin 9 plugged in from the uh, Arduous stem to the uh, NO2C. So it's not getting a cam signal. But right now the engine's cranking. And so I'm going to plug it in. Uh, 1001, 1002, in, in two seconds it got full sync and I unplugged it. So it had a cam signal for two seconds while cranking. It's now full sync. This answers one of the questions I couldn't get anyone to explain to me. Um, why is this important? And notice we're still cranking. Uh, because the map sensor uh, hack trick to replace the cam center, sensor is mostly accurate at very, very low RPMs because your foot's not on the throttle, you're cranking. It creates a suction on the intake, which causes the uh, map sensor to drop real low. And that's what we can trip off of. And if we can figure out exactly where that happens in relation to where the tooth on the cam sensor would be, then we can kind of sync everything up. And um, I'm not even sure that we even need to know that anymore. We don't. We don't need to know that because what's happened is my 24-1 uh, uh, crank wheel is the thing determining the... Uh, the engine's location and when it went full sync it converted this from a 360 degree wheel to a 720 degree wheel because speed window is now counting all those teeth so instead of having a 24 uh, tooth wheel when it went full sync we now have a 48 tooth wheel it's 24 and a virtual another 24 see how that works so I've proved two big things here first of all I only need a crank signal or a uh, a uh, sync signal while cranking. I'm still at 100 RPMs. I'm still cranking. We're burning the starter up on this thing. And uh, it, within two seconds, it goes full sync and converts our 24 tooth wheel to a 48 tooth wheel uh, because it says, well, I'm not going to count to 24 anymore. I'm going to start counting to 48. And one through 24 is uh, intake and uh, compression, and 25 to 48, that's power and exhaust. Okay, so as long as it doesn't fall out of sync, we're good to go. And so we don't care about the map sensor once the engine starts. We actually don't care about it once it goes full sync. It's possible that I could put a relay on here and uh, actually physically cut the wire on the secondary map sensor that's dedicated to cylinder one. So it's not even interfering with the engine anymore or interacting with it. Um, so it really would be become irrelevant once the cranking goes full sync. So now we'll take and rev the engine up to running and let's just take it up to about 5,000 RPM. 
and uh, we got 5221 because our juice stem is kind of screwy. We still have full sink, and uh, the 12 volt battery is not very good. It's at 11.7 volts. I'm getting a low voltage warning because I need to put the charger on my tractor battery, but we still have full sink because it hasn't lost sync with the Arju stem. So if the Arju stem, were, if my crankshaft teeth and crankshaft position sensor could work as well as the uh, Arju stem simulator, then it will stay full sync. Um, I don't know what ASE off is. It turned off after it ran for a minute there. Uh, we're still warming up because I don't have anything to tell it that the uh, engine's gotten warm, so it'll probably be warming up forever. But uh, this looks pretty encouraging. So I'll probably be flip-flopping my previous decision from an hour ago to continue working uh, down this road because this looks like this could actually function. Um, and it doesn't look like I have to take that second uh, that second signal, the camshaft signal, into, uh, into any kind of uh, consideration at all as far as timing the stuff because that's still going to happen the way I was doing it before with the trigger setup, uh, determining the tr trigger angle, which is... Uh, when tooth number one on the primary wheel passes the primary sensor. Um, the only reason I told it that it's a missing tooth wheel is because that's what I have. Okay, so how did I get here to where I have this camshaft wheel? That's a good question because I didn't choose this. I don't believe. I'll have to go back and try it again because I thought this was grayed out. I might have chosen a single tooth cam. Maybe that's what I did. Uh, so anyhow, it, it, in Speedwino, it's a 24-tooth wheel with no missing uh, teeth. That's what's being pumped over from the Arju stem. Unless I go in there and redefine it in their code, I didn't. But the reality is I have a 24-tooth wheel with one missing on the Kohler. Okay? And and then I guess I told it a single-tooth cam. I did a bunch of stuff here, so I remember what I did. But... Uh, once I did all that, it seems to go into full sync within two seconds, and then you can just pull the wire. It doesn't care about sync anymore. Um, there was an option in here somewhere. I have enabled per tooth timing on. It was off. I don't think that changed anything. Uh, there was an, uh, an issue here of uh, here, resync every cycle. I had the ability to get to that and say yes or no. It was set to no. That has been grayed out for some reason now based on everything that's happened here. I would not want it to resync every cycle because uh, I'm doing it by map and uh, it's not even plugged in anymore. Once it's synced up on crank, I turned it off. So kind of interesting, kind of encouraging. So I guess I'll keep going with Speedwino and see if I can get it to go somewhere. Because basically this proves that Speedwino will do what it needs to do to support this map sensor thing. Now the question is getting the map sensor input to work into the cam input. Uh, so basically where I pulled, uh, pin nine off of the Arju stem, what we want is we want for the, uh, a dedicated map sensor on cylinder one, when it goes low in voltage, meaning the suctions happen, we want it, that to be, Hey, here's the cam signal. And, uh, it only needs to do that for two seconds and boom, it's synced up and we should be good to go. So not a lot of help from, uh, forums on this. I just figured this out on my own. So there you go.